What's going on, drivers? Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper, and I am Old Snapper. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We do everything here trucking related. Uh, the first part of this video is going to actually be in Utah. It's Parley Summit. Uh, it's going to be climbing it, headed uh, headed east on Interstate 80. Uh, the second part of this video is Interstate 80, some footage from out in uh, Nevada. So I'll put them together. Uh, Interstate 80 across Nevada, Utah. Uh, it's some of my favorite area of the country to run. I know everybody's got their little area that they like. That is some of my favorite area of the country to run. And I hope y'all enjoy the view as well. And uh, if you just want to enjoy the view and you don't really want to hear what I got to say, just turn it on down and enjoy the view. But anyway, we're here to talk about AB5. All right. First and foremost, as a warning to everybody, you are about to see a mashup of clickbait titles on YouTube, on Instagram, on uh, Facebook. You know, people just want to get views, trying to run on the hype of, of this AB5 uh, being upheld out in California. They're going to be talking about it's the end of the world, it's the end of owner-operators, and be talking about all that kind of stuff. And that's just simply not true. First, we have to look at what AB5 is and who it affects. Um, I would be here all day long if I explained every detail of it, but I'm just going to give a little bit of a rundown from what I read. AB5 is mainly going to affect uh, people who are not fully business owners. So in other words, if you lease a truck, AB5 is, uh, is going to affect you. If you live in California and you are a lease operator, AB5 is going to affect you. If you work for a company on 1099 status, in other words, the company tells you where to pick up, where to deliver, when to take your breaks, you know, all that kind of stuff, but you're being paid 1099 status. You don't own the truck. The, your, the numbers on the truck are not in your name. It's going to affect you. <clears throat> if you are a full-blown owner-operator and you have your own numbers, your own authority, AB5 is not going to affect you. That's not who it affects. It affects the lease operators. It affects the guys working 1099. Now, there is a way around that. Simple. Go out and buy a truck. Get your own numbers. You know, start get your own authority. If you, if you live in California, you want to continue to operate that way, well, go ahead and get your own authority. You know, that that's one way to not have to worry about it. <clears throat> but AB5 will not be affecting those drivers. It's only going to affect your lease operators and so on. Uh, now, there was a hold on AB5. The Supreme Court did have it on hold, but that hold has been lifted. The uh, law has been upheld. It's, it's going forward. So just so everyone knows that, that I believe that happened today. But keep keep in mind though drivers don't fall for the clickbait don't think it's the end of the world because it's not you know don't think it's the end of trucking because it's not it's one state um and it's only affecting a, a small portion of drivers out there uh those drivers will be moving over w2 status now in my opinion and this is just my opinion some would ask why would california care if you're working 1099 or w2 it's a democratic state so basically it's a money grab and that's all it is uh they get state taxes so instead of waiting until the end of the year to get their state taxes from somebody working 1099 they can get their taxes weekly on w2 and to keep you from building up any tax loopholes or any any ways that you may get around paying those taxes at the end of the year they're gonna make sure you pay it weekly and that's all it is. You're in a democratic state that's got a high cost. The, uh, you know, the more giveaway programs you have, the more, the more you give out to people that don't work, the more it costs the state. The state has to come up with that money somewhere. This is one of the ways they're doing it. It's a money grab. That's all it is. That's all it's about. Uh, me personally, I loved California as a kid. Wouldn't live there today. Couldn't pay me to live there today. Um, I would I would be gone and I would not vote for the same types of people wherever I went. I would be voting for a different crowd because I would not want to have to deal with the same problems that I just left. 
So if you're from California and you just recently moved somewhere, please, please take that into consideration. Because if you vote for the same types of people, the same political parties you voted for in California that caused the problems in California for you to leave, you're just going to take your new home and turn it into California. And in a few years, you're not going to be happy there either. And neither are the people living around you who didn't want it. And that's why they didn't live in California to begin with. Just keep that in mind. But anyway, it's not going to be a long video. I just wanted to put this out there. Don't want uh, to see drivers panicking or thinking it's the end of the world. It's not. But just keep in mind that that, that, that has been upheld. It is moving forward. So good luck. And uh, if you are living in California and you are working 1099 or leasing a truck, maybe it's time to buy a truck, brother or sister. You know, uh, truck prices are coming down. Get out there and get you one. You know you can do it, and I believe in you. Well, remember we are all family, even if we are a bit dysfunctional. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all take care, stay safe, and let's keep trucking.